In this video, we're going to determine if the point lies on the graph of the equation y equals 4 minus the absolute value of x minus 2. And we have two examples. Our first point is the ordered pair 2 comma 3, and our second point is the ordered pair negative 1 comma 0. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So first for the ordered pair 2 comma 3. This point will lie on the graph of the equation if whenever we plug in the x and y coordinates into the equation, the equation is true. So here, x is 2, and y is 3. That's because this is an ordered pair in the form x comma y. Now we just have to plug everything into our equation. I'm going to write the equation again here so you see it. So it's y equals 4 minus the absolute value of x minus 2. Now we just carefully plug in the numbers. y is 3, and this is equal to 4 minus the absolute value. x is 2, so this is 2 minus 2. So 3 is equal to 4 minus 2 minus 2 is 0, so we get the absolute value of 0. So we have 3 equals 4. The absolute value of 0 is 0, so we just get 4 minus 0, which is 4. So we get 3 equals 4. That is not true, so the answer is no. If it's true, then the answer is yes. Okay, so again, determine if a point lies in the graph of an equation. All you do is you take the coordinates, you take the x and the y, and you plug it into your equation like we did here. y is 3, x is 2. And if you get something that's true, then the answer is yes. In this case, 3 is equal to 4. That's false. So the answer is no. Let's try the next one and see what happens. So again, the ordered pair is always in the form x comma y. And so in this next example, x is equal to negative 1. And y is equal to 0. So plugging this into our equation, which I'll write it again, it's y equals 4 minus the absolute value x minus 2. So y is 0. This is equal to 4 minus the absolute value. And so x is negative 1. So we get negative 1 minus 2. We get 0 equals 4 minus the absolute value. So in this case, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So we get 0 equals 4 minus, and then the absolute value of negative 3 is 3, so we get 4 minus 3. So in this case, we get 0 equals 4 minus 3, which is 1. And so in this case, the answer again is no, right? It doesn't work because this is not true. So if we had plugged in a number and it had been true, for example, Let's say we plugged in, let's do one more. Let's say we do, let's say we do 2 comma 4. Let's try this one. So again, writing down our equation, we have y equals 4 minus the absolute value of x minus 2. So in this case, x is 2 and y is 4. So we have a 4 here. And this is equal to 4 minus the absolute value of 2 minus 2. The absolute value of 2 minus 2 is 0. So we get 4 equals 4 minus the absolute value of 0. But the absolute value of 0 is 0. So 4 equals 4 minus 0. So 4 equals 4. So in this case, it would be yes because it's true. So whenever you have an equation and you're trying to determine if point lies in the equation, all you have to do is plug in that point, and if the result is true, then you know it does. If the result is false, you know it doesn't. This is also useful in cases where you know already that the point lies on the equation. Then you know that when you plug it in, it has to be true, and that's really another way that this is used. So whenever a point lies on an equation, that means when you plug it in, it's true. It's super important in mathematics, and it's very helpful for harder problems. Hopefully you've learned some math in this video. If you have, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck and take care.